Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is part two of the gallery component and this video will look at how to change some settings, add more than the default 15 images and play around with some timings and things like that. Okay, so let's get started then. I'm gonna open up Pano 2 VR, open the skin editor. This is how we left the last project. As I say, it can handle up to 15 images but we configured the settings to display nine. Now, how the um, gallery actually works is there is a variable, a, a numbered variable that defaults or its initial value is zero. And if we look at the external loader that shows the images, you'll see that there is an active logic block under external URL and you can see what's going on. When the variable value is zero, the image loader is going to load image underscore zero zero dot JPEG from the gallery folder. Um, now these are all predefined up to image underscore 14. So 00 to 14, there's my 15 images. If I wanted to add a, a, a 16th image, I would just click, I would click the add expression button and just set this up to gallery pictures equals 15. Then I would display, let's just copy this URL and paste it in here and it would display image uh, underscore 15 which would be my 16th image here we go so that's how you add them you just keep adding these and 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 adding the expressions and just configuring the expressions to show more images now the one thing this gallery can do is it preloads the next image in and the how it does that is there is another external loader and it's hidden. You don't see it, and in fact, it's actually hiding underneath the back button. And what this does is it does exactly the same as the image loader that displays the images, except for this time round, it's loading the next image in. So when the value is zero, instead of um, loading and displaying image underscore zero zero, this one is loading underscore O one into the browser's memory. So when we click the forward button and we then want to display image 01 in the gallery, when it goes to one, we are now then preloading image 02. So this is always preloading the next image. So what you'd have to do here, as we did before, is add another expression, gallery pictures equals 14, and we're going to preload image 15. There you go, so that's how to do that. The other thing that we need to do is obviously the um, every time you press the forward button, we count up. So there is a logic block with a counter and it's this top um, this top uh, text box. This has the uh, active logic block to under text and you can see what's happening here. Now the values in the variable value start at zero. So for 16 images, it will be zero to 15 but the text box is actually showing the actual number. So at the first image, we show the text of one. So if we wanted to add our 16th image, I just add another expression. Again, we'll go to gallery pictures when that equals 15, um, we're gonna display number 16. There we go. So again, you just have the counter. So every time you hit the forward button, it counts up as well. Okay, so that's the counter, that's the images. Um, what I also want to show you is how to uh, extend the timer. On the play button, we um, change the image every four seconds. Now, how this works is I have a gallery timer, and if you see, we actually, the timer is zero because it doesn't work as, as when the skin opens or when the project opens but it's got an initial value of, of type for initial so it this is active when um, uh, the project opens and it has a toggle action so it repeats now obviously it's going to do nothing until that timer is active but the action for this is that when the timer is active it's going to create a trigger click to the gallery forward button so it's going to click the forward button for us but when it's active now as I say the the thing is is that the play button actually has a value parameter value of two seconds so mouse click six, set two seconds to the gallery timer but why two seconds well as I said the action is activate and this is a toggle so basically if we set two seconds the the timer becomes active which is going to create our trigger click and then after two seconds it's going to be deactive and that's going to be deactive for two seconds and then after that it's going to be active again so 
after four seconds we're going to hit our second activate so that's where we get the four seconds from if you wanted the gallery timer to be say six seconds you would set this value for three if you wanted the gallery timer to be five seconds you would set this to 2.5 so basically it's half of the amount of seconds you want to the gallery to move forward with okay so that's all running um, and that's how we uh, change all that but what I want to do and I want to show you is the external loaders can actually load a variety of different file types now we've just been using JPEGs but you can use TIFFs pings GIFs, animated GIFs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tenth image to this project which is going to be an animated GIF so if I look at the preloader because it's a tenth image I'm looking at image underscore 09 because don't forget we got 00 to 09 09 would be my tenth image so here's the my 09 I'm going to adjust the file type uh, to GIF so that's on the preloader and on the external loader that shows the image I need to set um, image 9 again to GIF there we go and again I'm just going to set up the gallery to display however many of now 10 images and I now need to set the forward and back buttons so the forward button is going to now be set to 10 images and the back button again same setting there it's 10 images and because it's a back button we just need one image less than what we have so that's going to be nine and that's ready to go so if we now save and publish this out you'll see now that when we open the gallery we've got one of ten when I hit the back button it's ten of ten nine of ten and so on we're obviously not showing the image because I've not added the gif to the gallery folder so if I open up the gallery folder add the image open up Pano 2 VR have a look at the output when I go back now now you can see the animated GIF as part of my slideshow. There you go. That's how to add images, change times, and change file types. Thanks for watching.